good afternoon. This is Flo Maloney hi from Prendergast and today is Sunday the 20th of December 2020. So continuing on from a Bible study yesterday, i um, like to introduce the next one. We made mention of this key thing called wisdom. In this day and age, what would we refer wisdom to? What would we link it to? Skill. You know, that's the ability to know how to do a thing. But wisdom in the biblical term is the equivalent of what we call skill. So just before we begin this study, let's just have a word of prayer as we open God's word. Our Father in heaven, we thank you once again for this new day. It's always a joy to come before you. We are always in your presence, whether we acknowledge you or not. So Lord, as we look to your word, please give us the true understanding of your truths in your name, Jesus. Right, this is going to be very quick, very fast. So these are the things you're going to need. An open heart, prayerful spirit, and um, seeking of God's spirit who guides into all truth pen and paper as well. Right, uh, Bible. And um, paper, yes. So, right, wisdom, skill. According to um, Proverbs, we're going to look at what this means here. According to Proverbs chapter 1, verse 7, it says, The fear of the Lord is the beginning of knowledge, but fools despise wisdom and instruction. Now, you're going to find in some Bibles it gives you an outline. It's very good because it will sometimes it makes things very simple very quickly. But the Bible ultimately is its own interpreter. So let's see what the Bible says. Go to Proverbs chapter 2 and we'll look at from verses 1 to 5. Let's look, pick out some key words. So if you receive my words, hide my commandments with thee, so that you incline thine ear unto wisdom, applying thine heart to understanding. If you criest after knowledge, and liftest up thy voice for understanding. Whoa, this is a lot, but it's all stringed together. If you seek her as silver and search for her as for hid treasures, then shalt thou understand the fear of the Lord and find the knowledge of God. Verses six and seven, this is key. Let's kind of just go back quickly to verse one uh, of chapter one. Verse 7 of chapter 1. The fear of the Lord is a big of knowledge. So let's look at what verses um, 6 and 7 says. For the Lord giveth wisdom. So if you want to find wisdom, you've got to go to the Lord. Out of his mouth cometh knowledge and understanding. He layeth up sound wisdom for the righteous. He is a buckler to them that walk uprightly. Now, I think we can see here what is wisdom so we're going back we mentioned yesterday how solomon he was you know the wisest man but the book of ecclesiastes was written at the time where he reflect in the later part of his life where he reflected on the things he had done and where he hadn't necessarily made the best choices so let's look at um taken from the um the commentary and the outline, they said, if we were to take a sample of Ecclesiastes coping in a wicked world, wisdom and folly um, contrasted. This We're looking at the whole of chapter 7, verses 1 to 14. Wisdom of moderation. So it's good for an outline if you go to the um, interpreter's outline. Um so verses 15 to 18, strength of wisdom, verses 19 to 29. So if you really want deep understanding of God's word, compare the scriptures, not because go, oh, look, how come this says this and that one says that? Don't worry about that. You want to get the sense, the meaning, what is God teaching here? So here I've looked at King James Version, contemporary English version, um, Bible and Basic English New 
King James Version. So we're going to go through this very quickly. A good name is better than precious ointment and the day of death than the day of one's birth. So this is a contrast. Uh, reputation is for CV and then the uh, yet yeah, is better than loving care. Uh, Bible in basic English, good names better. Um, K New KJV, good names better. So let's go to the next section. Verse 2, better is to go to the house of mourning. Uh, CV, a funeral, weeping, house of mourning. Than the house of feasting. Uh, CV says than to attend a feast. So you are getting an idea of the pattern here verse three sorrow is better than laughter for by sadness of the countenance the heart is made better cv says choose sorrow over laughter because a sad face may hide a happy heart isn't that strange but in fact i'm going to tell you something I relate very strongly to that verse, verse 3 in chapter uh, 7 of Ecclesiastes. Um, I believe it was 2009, I was taking a picture and I looked at my features. And one second, I've just got a call coming through and I just had to decline that. I looked at my features, right, we're going to conclude. I looked at my features and they were...